Hey, 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 it's me, Ferk Polo. I'm coming to you today looking like Zeno to bring you a little explanation on how do you install the mods for TCG Card Stop Simulator to get it to look like Pokemon, right? Everyone likes the game, everyone wants to do that. Let's all try it out, right? So, first things first, you gotta download the mods. You go to nexusmods.com slash TCG card shop simulator. You don't have to put that part in. You'll, you'll find it once you get there. You can just Google Pokemod. It'll be like the second entry, okay? So you got that going for you. Now, once you get here, you're gonna go ahead, very easily, files, manual download. Now you should have to, you might have to have an account for Nexus Mods, but I'm expecting that you probably already have that by now if you're at this point. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna go to files, you're gonna download the latest one manually, okay? It'll take you to this page. It's going to ask which one you want. You're going to click slow download, and then it's going to give you your download. Once you get BPNX, you're going to take the texture replacer. You want this one too. Texture replacer is also a mod on TCG Card Shop Simulator. You will find this by just sorting by the highest endorsed, just like BPNX. This is right there. Do the same thing. Files. Go to the new one. Manual download. As you can see, I downloaded it fresh today. So you manual download here. Boom. Now you got those done. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to navigate to your game folder. Now getting to your game folder is relatively simple. You can just go into Steam, you right click on the game inside your library, you go to um, settings or manage one of those and just choose browse local files. So you wanna get this installed now, let's go ahead. You gotta know how to open your local files from Steam. I've already got the folder open, so we're just gonna open it here. There you go. There's the folder. Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, TCG, Card Shop, Simulator. This is where you want to be. Now, you won't see the BPNX folder, obviously, because you haven't installed it yet. The BPNX folder is here. And how do we get that installed? Well, we downloaded the files. So you got your BPNX. You got your texture replacer. We got all the files here. So we take, we start by doing BPNX, right? That's the first one we need. So we grab BPNX. Uh, we're going to minimize Pokemon. We're going to minimize text replacer. Now, this whole thing is in this folder. It says doorstop version, version, da, da, oh, that's fine. You're going to want that in the folder with your card shop simulator exe. So you're just going to grab this whole thing, everything inside this folder, inside the zip file that you got. Just drag it right in here to the card shop simulator. All right, that easy. You just drop it in. Once you've done that, we can close that. That's done. You're going to want to start Pokemon. So you're going to want to start TCG Card Shop Simulator one time once you've done this. Started, I don't even think you have to load in the store. You just start the game, click exit, come back here. Once you're here, you're going to go to Texture Replacer. Okay? See how it's in there? It just says Texture Replacer. You go right into BPNX. You go right into Plugins. And you just drop this file, Texture Replacer. Replace the file and destination. Done. Boom. Your Texture Replacer is done. So now what do you do with Pokemon? Pokemon is even easier because the uh, guy who created it made it so simple that he just put the folder right at TCG Card Shop Simulator. So once you get here, you just open this. See how it already says BP and X because it's going to overwrite all the files you need to overwrite for the Pokemon. So you take this, you just drag it into this folder and let it overwrite everything. Replace the files in this destination if you see them and you're done. And at that point, you should now be able to launch the TCG card shop simulator and it should immediately synchronize to your cloud. You should have no versions getting into steam. And when it comes up, the first thing you'll see is the Pokemon back on your cards. This is usually a good sign. The other thing you're going to want to check is to make sure that your plushies have become Pokemon plushies. And that's about it. It's all you got to do to install the mods to Pokemon card shop simulator. Um, no, let's load a game. Let's load into Big Top Gaming and see what things look like in our store. As you can see here, we have Pokemon backs on our cards. Game loads in. Um, and there you go. So you can see right here on the store, Pokemon Crane card game. You walk into your store, you got the Pokemon tables. You can see the Pokemon boxes. You can see the card packs. Everything's here. Oh. Oh, what's this? I wonder what that's worth. Why don't we take a look? We take a look on our album. Oh! We'll see you next time. Peace.